article files fresh lawsuit against Tinubu in America. <laughs> this article no more rest to I tell you. And I this lawsuit now has to do with the Tinubu's academic qualification that he said he obtained from a Chicago State University. And that's it is fraudulent. Okay. This fresh case is going to be another serious one. This is different from tribunal case now. This Tinubu will pass through several troubles because he is troubled himself. He has never done anything on a clean platform. And that is why he's getting all of these troubles. And he's not going to get away with all these fraudulent activities. He fraudulently rigged the election and got there. And he's fraudulently trying to rig the tribunal judgment outcome. At, uh, um, and then he's also doing so many things to retain himself in the office. And that is considering declaring state of emergency by going to war in the Nigerian Republic so he can remain in office. All of these strategies are not going to work. Nigerians are wiser and smarter. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has filed a lawsuit against President Bola Tinubu in the United States of America, alleging that Tinubu's academic records are fraudulent. Politics Nigeria reports that the lawsuit, which was filed in the District Court for the Northern District of Illinois, seeks to compel Tinubu to produce his academic record from primary school through university. Atiku's spokesperson, Frank Shaibu, said that the lawsuit is just the beginning of Atiku's challenge to Tinubu's presidency. He said Atiku Abubakar only withdrew the case before a circuit court of Cook County, Illinois County, United States of America, because he is pursuing the same matter in a higher court and he wanted to avoid abuse of court processes. In recent weeks, Nigerians have been watching the ongoing ministerial screening at the Senate where nominees have been made to reveal their primary, secondary, and university history, Shaibu said. And some of the ministerial nominees were even classmates with the senators screening them. However, the man who nominated them has no educational history. He has no primary school, secondary school, or university classmate. This is because he has no classmate. He fell from the sky. Abi? <laughs> Shaibu also questioned why Tinubu has not invited any of his classmates to the presidential villa. In recent years, past presidents have invited their former classmates to Aso Rock Villa. Shaibu said, even President Muhammad Ubuari hosted his classmate from Kasina Middle School. But who did Bola Tinubu invite to the presidential villa? Governors from 1999 said, can you imagine? Atiku, who is the presidential candidate of the Pro Democratic Party, is also challenging the outcome of the 2023 election at the presidential election petition tribunal that we know. And that is also trying to be concluded at this time. The fact remains that Tinubu's life is full of mystery. Okay, he has no primary school certificate, no secondary school certificate, and then he suddenly got to university and produced a certificate. How, what did they use to admit him there? Let the school that gave him that certificate come out to tell the world what they used in admitting him there. Okay, I think David Hondain has done the right, um, the right, uh, what did they call it? investigation by finding out that it was a fake template that was used to fake the uh, Chicago State University result for Tinubu. And it was also discovered that the Bola Tinubu that is in Chicago State University file is the name of a female and not a male. So Tinubu need to come out and explain all this because the people that know him very well in Nigeria have also said that his name is not Tinubu from the beginning. They know his parents from Oshun State. Okay, So this guy has been fraudulent from beginning, from back till now, and he finally got his way to presidency. Ha! Could, what kind of life is this? So because of this, he's likely not going to have peace. Obviously not going to have peace. Okay? So Atiku is now pursuing that case because from what they are saying here, from Frank Shaibu, who is the spokesperson for Atiku, that the, the ministers that Tinubu nominated, we saw the Senate you know, screening them, forcing them to show their primary, secondary, and university certificate or whatever qualification they have and whatever experience they have. And they produce all of them. And even some of the people that are nominated are classmates with the senators that are screening them. 
And it was glaring that these people went to school. They have a certificate they show. But Tinubu himself that is nominating them does not have anything to show for his academic qualification. And he's lying all through. He lied, up to lying, uh, lying to INEC during this uh, application or during the time he was filling his application form as uh, a presidential aspirant. Okay? And all of that came out to be lies. And he's flying with the lies. How can somebody start his life with lies and end his life with lies? So because of that, since the case is not having head in Nigeria, Atiku has gone to the United States to fight that case in court again and to make sure that Tinubu's educational history is pulled out to confirm that he did not lie because he lied right from INEC uh, application form. And INEC knew about it, but they kept quiet like they didn't see and they registered an, uh, this application. This is very, very bad for a country that calls itself Nigeria, to have people like this as leaders. Speaks very bad of all of us. Now somebody is saying, a Chinese proverb says, Chi won sha yen shi tuan, meaning atiku, they play. Not really. You don't, you don't start a Chinese, Abi. President is not for, for sale. <laughs> so what are you saying? Eh? Some people say, which fees, which fees pay the council for a jurisdiction? Okay. We give kudos to men who cherish freedom for their people. They fight on, never give up to entrench institutional democracy, accountability, and good governance. I mean, exactly. So, Atiku is trying, let him continue. What is all this nonsense Atiku is doing? These guys are just eating their money for nothing not really because because you think nigeria is of age and can no longer allow uh, illegitimacy to continue to reign and your friend tifnubu okay and your tifnubu is the one who is not doing nonsense abi yes now tifnubu is doing the worst nonsense ever in the history of nigerian government so why is this man so desperately desperate like this? Is is there is there anybody that can be more desperate than Tinubu in what he's doing to become president? He has done the worst evil to Nigerian electorate to become president, and he cannot find peace, and he won't get it. That is the truth. Is Tinubu his employee, or is he wishing to employ Tinubu? Is Tinubu applying for a job in his company? When did Tinubu graduate from university? What is his interest? Not really. So, the INEC put some criteria for anybody to meet before being registered and before applying to become an aspirant. So, what qualification did Tinubu use to qualify for this position? That is the truth. How was he screened? Who screened him? We need to get all of that. Eh? We need to get all of that. We cannot just move on and then continue to allow... Uh, illegitimate things to continue to be. Somebody say, why is this man not tired? Is it by force he must rule Nigeria? Is it by force true that Tinubu must rule Nigeria? Is Tinubu the most qualified person? Let's ask that question first. How can he be tired to save his country from corruption? Exactly. Even though uh, Atiku himself has his own baggage, but is better than Tinubu. Of two evils, he chooses the, the best. That is it. Must President Bola met Tinubu bring his classmates to Aso Rock to convince Nigerians about its authenticity, this is laughable. It's not laughable anything. It's obviously not laughable anything. Eh? It's not laughable anything. The guy is doing the needful. Okay? Who did Tinubu invite to, to, to Aso Rock? It was Asari Dokubo. That is causing problems in Nigeria today. That is government of tout that Tinubu is establishing in Nigeria. Because he grew up as a child, as a tout, and grew up to become a man as a tout, grew up to become a politician as a tout, and now becoming a president as a tout. Man, it means that tout is, tout, tautocracy is uh, lucrative. This is real tautocracy. Government of tautocracy. Nah, this one's serious. So thank you for listening, and let's have a comment. This is what Atiku is doing. He is continuing to challenge the, the, uh, Tinubu's certificate even in the U.S. and now has filed a, law, a lawsuit in the U.S. to investigate and get Tinubu's qualifications if he actually got them because he must have lied to INEC and to Nigerians at some point. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.